love Dua Lipa. Oh my god. I am so excited to this look. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to do today the Dua Lipa Grammy look. She never goes home empty handed. I love her so, so much. I actually saw her at Rebel in uh, Toronto way back in the day, like maybe three, four years ago, maybe even five. And my ticket was like $60 Canadian. It was just when she was like coming out onto the scene and people were recognizing her and then she just blew up and I knew that she would. So today we're just gonna do her Grammys look and I've seen a couple of influencers do it already because they've been so inspired it was so beautiful I actually did something like that for this year's Valentine's Day I took down the post because I don't know I wasn't feeling it and I'm just gonna like revamp it and bring it back out in uh, 2022 for Valentine's Day because I love to revamp my old looks and bring them back to life when I can this is just gonna be like a walk in the park for me because I already did it and I wanted to share with you of how you can achieve Dua Lipa's Grammy look of 2021. I already prepped my face, I already done the contouring, the highlighting, the foundation, the moisturizing, that is all good to go. We're going to start with the NYX Glitter Primer, which is my absolute favorite. It is so, so good for glitter. I like it better than the Too Faced, not because I worked for NYX, but like it was the best on the market. I absolutely love it and it never disappointed me. Then we're going to go in with the MAC Glitter, and this one is in Rose. So it looks like this. Yeah. Okay. The glitter primer. I'm just gonna grab some and put some on my finger. I am just going to just make the bottom a little bit different just to bring my eyes out a little bit. Like she's got a very natural look underneath the eye with a little bit of glitter. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the usual thing I like to do when I like to bring out my eyes is just add a little bit of a, like a peachy white liner just to bring my eyes forward and make them pop. I'm probably gonna put like bottom lashes too just to like kick it up a notch, why not? So I'm just going to put the glitter primer on there, a little dish or even like my garbage pail and just do the glitter over it because then it's not going to get all over myself and the floor and everywhere because I mean, don't get me wrong. I do run on coffee and glitter. That is not an issue there. It's just a little bit of a pain to like clean it up afterwards and it gets everywhere. Sometimes I mind, sometimes I don't. I really mind when it's like the small, the small grain like this. If they're bigger, you can just see them a little better and just sweep them up, throw them out. I'm gonna start off with a just a large shadow brush. It's quite flat, as you can see, just to like really pack it in there. What I like to do is spray the brush a little bit. So then when you're picking up that glitter, it won't fly away as much. Most of it will be on the brush. So then you can get most of it on your eye, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just grab that glitter get my little dish and just go and oh look at that just so you won't get it on your face even though i did a little bit what you want to do is you want to grab a paper towel and just put it under your eye so whatever flyaways happen won't get on your face especially if you've done your foundation and everything already so it won't stick so then you can just go crazy with glitter Mm-hmm. look at that kind of going into like this oval shape so I'm just gonna go and just with the tip of that brush I dipped it in and I'm just gonna like fix the shape so it's more round yeah love it absolutely love it I'm just gonna do the other eye I'm gonna go and grab the Full Whites by NYX. I absolutely love these so, so much, just to open up my eye a little bit. And this one is in Lavender Blush. Put that in the waterline before I do the bottom. I'm gonna grab the Gel Liner and Smudger in Jet Black by NYX. I love it so, so much. And I'm just going to do the lash bed a little bit just to fill that in. So I'm just going to literally line just the lash bed. So when I put the lashes on, 
you will be able to see the bare skin. I'm just gonna fill those in a little bit. And don't fill them too much, just don't go too deep because then it's going to deposit on the bottom and in your water line it's gonna sit there and then it's gonna turn gray and it's gonna turn into a big mess. You're gonna try and clean it with a Q-tip and it's just gonna get even worse. And then you're gonna have to get like a Q-tip with like makeup remover and then you're gonna have to reapply the liner. I've been down this road, <laughs> that's why I know. So. Now you are gonna get glitter on your brush from when you're doing this, so just wipe it off as you go. So you're not gonna deposit any glitter into your product of the gel liner and smudger so it stays clean. Continue with the bottom. I'm gonna grab a Q-tip, put a little bit of that glitter glue on my hand. And I'm going to just go ahead underneath that liner and apply it. So I will do an eye at a time. Now what I do recommend is when you're applying glitter, oh, glitter in my eye. Again, yeah, spray. And you wanna get like a little brush, just like that. And you wanna like dab it rather than drag it. Cause if you drag it, it's gonna get all over your face. I am gonna do over the dish here. I'm not gonna do it with the paper towel because I need to focus that it gets on there. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. I do want to put a little bit of that in the corner so it could match up with the rest of the eye. And again, you wanna dab my little dish. Amazing. Oh my God, I love this look so much. Now I'm gonna go and just grab On The Rise Mascara by NYX and I'm just gonna go and put some mascara on just to, I'm totally running out of this and need more. Okay, and when I'm doing bottom lashes, I like to flip it and just touch it very gently and fill in those lashes. This is the Makeup Forever Super Matte Powder. I absolutely love it. It really does mattify me. I was using the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Powder Foundation by NYX, but I still found that I was getting oily with it for some reason. I do still use the Can't Stop, Won't Stop for contouring and highlighting, not for trying to mattify me in my T-zone. And it's a loose powder, it's very translucent, and I'm just gonna put that in the areas where I get oily t-zone problems you know i'm gonna get my brush here i love this brush so much i love it for contouring i absolutely love it and this is the um can't stop won't stop in warm caramel and i'm just gonna go ahead and do my contouring i'm gonna grab the loose powder can't stop won't stop powder foundation and this one is in the light medium i'm gonna use this for my highlighting I feel like this area is still a little dark, so I'm just gonna lighten it up a little bit. <laughs> because I put the loose powder over that, and um, but it just helps me mattify it. So I'm gonna go back on top and put the lighter powder now. Oh, I just saw a hawk flying outside was huge. We're going to start with the illuminating. So, oh my god, strobe of genius. This is mermaid armor. It's just this beautiful illuminated duochromatic pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what I like to do with this is just apply and then wipe. So then, because it's picking up all the foundations and powders like you see it got dirty. So you just want to wipe that off so then you're not like spreading it around your other areas that you're working with and then you're getting the same result every time and you're also keeping it clean. And we're gonna grab the Duochromatic Illuminating Powder and this one is in Lavender Steel by NYX 
and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's pretty much the powder version-esque of that cream illuminator that I just applied. I love to use this brush. I talk about it all the time. And this one is the number 26 by NYX. It's this beautiful, soft brush. And I hate the fan brushes. They deposit so awfully and I talk about it all the time. And yeah, I'm not gonna elaborate on that any longer, but I really freaking hate those fan brushes. They're really great for painting, like illustrative art, but not for a face. I don't like them, personally. Okay, like look at that. Look at that beautiful magic. It just, oh, everything is just so beautiful. I love it. I love, 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 love this finish. It literally makes me feel like I'm a lavender steel. I have lavender steel on my face. Ooh. Love it. After I've done my highlighting, I like to go and it's broken. So I'm just going to show you before I open it up. But it's the HD powder by NYX in the banana. And I do like to put this on afterwards on top of the highlighting to bring out my highlighting. A lot of people use this on its own. I've talked about it before, what this does. This is a um, stabilizer powder. That's what HD is for. So when you're using it for camera, it's supposed to not make you look washed out. And whatever areas is going to be affected by the flash, it won't. That's why it's, it blurs it out for you. So every little detail of your makeup, it's not going to be washed out by a flash and then those areas will be nice and stabilized and you'll be able to see everything. That's what this is for. But people just use that alone for their highlighting, which is fine, but you're not supposed to use that much because if you put too much, you're gonna look a little washed out and maybe just one tone. So a little bit goes a long way, but that's just my knowledge from the industry to you of what I know and what I've experienced and what I've been taught by the professionals out there at Makeup Forever especially. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to grab a blush brush. I love this brush, it's by NYX. It's so nice and soft. The softer the better for a brush. And then this has been discontinued. I will show you the name of this. This is the Sweet Spring Ombre Blush by NYX. You could probably still buy them on their website if uh, they're probably like, it's a clearance item. It's been a clearance item for a while. So what I like to do is just dab, dab, dab. Even though it's like a really hot pink, I just like to go and just grab just a touch of it. And just, that's why you want a soft brush for your blush because then it's not picking up too much pigment and you're not going to look like a little doll unless that's what you're going for. Live your life. It's fine. You do you. But I'm just letting you know if you're not going for that, you want a nice softer brush so you'll be able to just have a little just like a kiss or like a touch of pink on there. Yep. All right. And then what I like to do is uh, just pick up a little bit more of that lavender steel and literally just grab a little bit and just make sure that that illuminating is not lost. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of concealer, which I've put in this blotting powder compact by NYX and I ran out of it a long time ago and I just put my concealer in here for my personal use and I just like to go in a little bit and I just like to just cut that and look a little bit more chiseled. Right. Same with this side. So it doesn't look like my whole cheek is like contoured. Even though that looks a little bit like, whoa, that looks right out of a pop art. No, we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that contouring brush again, grab that contouring powder again, and we're just gonna go and like soften that up. But with like just the, like one side, like the tip of the one side of the brush, because if you're gonna do that, you're gonna be back to square one. So you just don't want to. Um, and then you can kind of rub it around with the brush. And now here I see that I just need to like smooth it out a little better. So it all blends in just like that. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that this side and 
just like move it around until everything just kind of like blends in and you can kind of slightly push it while you're dabbing it. See? Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and use the NYX mattifying setting spray. Give myself a little spray spray. So I did put lashes on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put lashes on on the bottom. They are these little teeny tiny lashes that I have. They might have a little bit of still pink sparkle on them for when I did this look the first time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. So what I do is, uh, like I always do, I just grab like a little tool and then I just dab it into the glue and go ahead and put it on. And then I like to grab my tweezers and just place them gonna leave them like that and then afterwards I'm just gonna go ahead and like lift them up once they've set because if I do that now they're gonna move just going to put my nose ring in I always take it off this one particular when I'm doing my makeup so it won't get destroyed by the makeup so this one is okay because I could just wipe it off so then I'm gonna grab the slide on glide on lip pencil this is in bedroom rose by NYX this is beautiful pink. I love these because they are waterproof, so you don't have to worry about them moving. Um, they're really good for when you're putting on gloss. So what I usually recommend is line your lip, let it set so it really sets in and the waterproof and then it like adheres to your skin. Not permanently, don't want to scare anybody. And then you can go ahead and put your gloss on because if you do it all at once, then it kind of smears. So at least this will, it won't bleed and it won't go anywhere, it won't move. I use this a lot and this one is the lipstick by bite <clears throat> and it's called meringue it's very it's very rich so that's why it's kind of a little messy but i'm just gonna and i already hydrated my lips all right my sugar boo <laughs> So this is the Dua Lipa inspired look from the Grammys 2021. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing this look. I love Dua Lipa. I love anything glittery. The whole combination is absolutely a joy. Thank you so much for my new subscribers. Thank you so much for showing me the love on Instagram. Check out my account. I'll link it right here again. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.